Portland Police Bureau. Officers have observed people armed with weapons near Southwest Sandwich Street and Southwest NATO Parkway. People on the west side of Southwest NATO must leave the area immediately by traveling west. Failure to comply with this order may subject you to arrest or citation and may subject you to the use of riot control agents or impact weapons. On the west side of Southwest NATO must leave the area immediately by traveling west. Failure to comply with this order may subject you to the arrest or citation and may subject you to the use of riot control agents or impact weapons.
you pepper spray me? Why did you pepper spray me? Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. You pepper spray me. I saw it. You saw it too. But that woman pepper spray me. I, I was on. I was. I was on. Tell me. That's the that's the lurker. You're not You're a leftist. You know what? Run. This is God's stewardship right here to fight for your country. If you don't want to fight for your country, you're a cop. All right? This, you're a cop. This is God's country. We're all supposed to be on the same side over here. That's Trump. You punch him, he punches back. You so, attack uh, Tim Pool out here with five. We're going to do the event. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm out here that. independently. We're going to do the event. That's a leftist right here. You think it's going to be bad? You get it on camera. You get it on camera. You get it on camera. I see what you did. You are a piece of shit. I know that. You are a piece of shit. I don't know if he came over there or if he went on the other side. I'm the head guard of the other side. Hopefully it stays there. I'm going to take my hat. I think that's the intent. At least it takes the picture. I got you. I got the video. I got the video. Hey man, I didn't. Just gotta take a picture. No, I'm not gonna do anything. I'm not gonna do anything. Talk about the self defense. Because self defense. That's okay, because we got a camera. Let's get you a new card ass out. Let's get you a new card ass out. Did you pepper spray? No, I don't know. Did you pepper spray? He doesn't have pepper spray. There's like five witnesses who told me you did. I didn't have pepper spray. America first, the Trump is your president.
<laughs> that was close. You almost got, it wasn't me. You almost got the camera, that's what you got. That's what I get for being small, I guess. That's why I'm here, Dad. I get to do it for you. I get to do it You're down for a little bit. You're real YouTube channel. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay. Sometimes you gotta be more often than what we're gonna do. I'm gonna open up the mic and give you two minutes to speak. Okay, I'm gonna say something real quick. Also, where's where's uh, I wanna hear it for the, the uh, Clark County Republicans. We have the chairman here today. Okay, let's hear it for David Glatley. Also, I wanna give a huge shout out to the uh, Multnomah County Republicans because they put out a press release calling for Ted Wheeler, this corrupt politician, to protect each and every single one of you guys. So that's, that's amazing. Here we go, here we go. Let's hear it for him, let's hear it for him. We all know it's hard for politicians to do what is right when the pressure's on, right? It's very difficult because it's politics. And so for these people to step up in a time like this, it means a lot. We need to make sure we support them and thank them for everything that they've done. Do you guys hear me? As we begin to build movement more and more, the mainstream are going to begin to understand what our tactics are and why we do what we do, okay? They're going to start to understand how important this is. So is there anybody here that wants two minutes to speak? Yes! Uh, anyone else? <laughs> Let's go, get up here. What's up, you guys? Yes. Yes. This is, this is like, this is what unity is about. No matter what the fear is, no matter what the danger or the risk, this is what it takes right here to stand for what we believe in. You guys are all heroes. Everybody here is a hero for coming here today because we've seen all those articles, we've seen all those, those propagandized articles pushing fear us. You can't pump fear into the Patriots. Let's hear it. All right, and let's get up for Joey. Joey's constantly, constantly, consistently. Are we tired yet? Are we tired yet? Yeah. Yeah. Alright you guys. 
Uh oh, you guys, we're gonna do something today. We're gonna do something today we've never done before, right? Look at how many people are here. Isn't this? Look how many helmets we have to use. Look where we're at. If we're not in America, we have to wear goggles, masks, and helmets. I'm tired of this stuff. We gotta take a stand. And we gotta say we're gonna take no more. Ted Miller, and, and, and just like Berkeley, just like the other liberal strongholds, they don't do their job. They take our taxpayer money, but they don't do their job. They keep raising taxes on us. Look at the homelessness. Look at all the stuff going on in the streets right now. So we, this is why we're here today. We all are fed up and we all agree that we need to take a stand. Are we gonna march through there? Are we gonna let them stop us just because they get all these sheep? Hell no! No! Are we gonna let them stop us? I want to get my chaplain up here. Come here. This guy right here. You can't do it. We can't do it without God. Right here. He has a message. He's been inspiring me. He's got a good, good message. He just he wants to say a prayer. He said he's been feeling it. He said he has a message to give us today. So this is Sean. All the locals here. I want to thank you for standing up. And all the cities across this land were under attack. But this minority, this silent majority, will rise and bring law and order back. And I want to thank everybody that came in and flew in and drove in from out of the area. Because it's the backbone that's going to keep us together as a nation for the next generation. So I want to tell you guys right now and just put this prayer out there. Oh, I mean, I Repeat after me. The gates of hell shall not prevail. The gates, the gates of hell shall not prevail. Amen. 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 Father, you said in the word that we are not at battle with flesh and blood, but with spiritual principalities. My mind is good. It's actually working.
pull that like you have help.
for this police
Donald Trump! Are you? Are we? Are we? America! Who the fuck are we? America! We are America! And I like Donald Trump! Suck a dick! Hey, get out of the way!
have this opium epidemic. I mean, the medicine industry should be shot at the same time, right?
Shut up and throw it away, dude. What's the matter? Are you, you asking me a serious it. question, dude? dude? You just discarded it in the ground. That's literally. We're trying Call to keep this cup. lawful. What's the problem? Call the cop. Where's the trash can? I don't even know. That's why I'd like to ask. Let me let me, no, let me help you out with it. then. Let me help you out with it. I'll go throw it in the fucking trash. Right, yeah! You. Woo! Bye bye. Put it in the trash. Little boys. Uh, Who are you?
A couple of things that I want to say. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. And I want to be able to get to my vehicle. I remember uh, last summer we came over here and we had maybe 100 people for one of the first freedom marches in, on the waterfront in Portland. And I sat, I sat right here with the bullhorn, talking about standing up for what you believe in, talking about uh, freedom and God and bringing these things into Portland. Violence would break out all the time when people thought that we were crazy. People thought that we were extremists, okay? But the, the key is we got to bring hateful people like him out so the world can see it, okay? And you guys did this today, and I'm extremely proud of you for doing that, okay? Yeah, extremely proud of you. Yeah. This is the thing. The, here's what I envision. I seriously have seen it. I've prayed about it. I envision a true revolution in this country where we don't have to hate one another just because we have differences of opinion, where we can truly come together, where we can unite and understand that this empire above us has gotten way too big. Do you agree this empire is too big? Yeah. Are you sick and tired of the corrupt politicians in Washington, D.C. screwing you guys over? Yeah. Do you believe it's time to get real Americans? Americans who believe in the Constitution, Americans who believe in freedom, and Americans who are not afraid to declare that God is real in this country. I believe, listen, I don't force my beliefs on anybody. I just stand up for what I believe in. That's it. I don't judge people. I don't care what you are. I don't care if you're atheist. I don't care if you're gay, black, white. None of that matters to me. But I do believe that if we bring prayer back into this country, I'm telling you, we can change things. Because that's what our forefathers did. Our forefathers believed in a higher cause. I talked about this June 30th. Our forefathers believed in something bigger than them. That's why they're willing to sign the Declaration of Independence. Yeah. We get worried about being doxxed. These guys put their name on a piece of paper that pretty much made them traitors to King George. They put their own lives at risk simply for belief. Simply for belief, because they were spiritual and because in God they trust. Because in God they trust. Amen. Here's the thing. We need to make sure, listen, the primaries are going to be on Tuesday. If you haven't put in your ballots, okay, make sure you get them in on Tuesday in person. But here's the next big 
push that we got to do. Whether I make it in the general or not, that's not what matters. We got to push as hard as we can to make 2018 one of the biggest revolutions in this country. Bigger than 2016. Bigger than 1776. I have been respectful to the left because I know there's a lot of good people on the left. There's a lot of good liberals. Hey, you have the walk away movement, okay? But I'm sick and tired of the leadership and the Democratic Party pandering and race baiting and trying to make us feel bad Amen. for being American freedom loving and this, to believe in the Constitution and to believe in God. We're not going to stand down anymore, especially not in Portland, Oregon. You hear me? Amen. Here's how it starts though. You guys got to go home. You got to go home. You got to get two people. You got to get three people. You got to get four people. And we got to make this bigger and bigger. It's not even about the rallies. But if we show up in masses, here's what's happened, okay? August 18th. Is it August 18th? Does anyone know? August 18th, we're going into Seattle. There are tons of leaders here today who flow in, flew in, and they're going back home, and they're doing their own march. Um, to rally against the, the, the violence of the alt-left, the far left, okay? It's going to be all over the country. We have teamed up, Patriot Prayers teamed up with AP 3%, which is a big deal, okay? It's finally groups coming together, all right? Let go of our differences, uniting. We're going to Seattle, and we're going to march, okay? March against the violence on the left, and we're going to march liberty or death because we got to understand, we got to be willing to put our lives on the line to take this country back, amen? So if you're around in this area, Get your family members, get your friends. The police do the job in Seattle. Let's get a thousand people up in Seattle to stand up for what we believe in. It is time to liberate the conservative, the libertarian, and anybody who's afraid to speak up on the West Coast. Amen? Here's what's gonna happen. The buses are gonna be coming back, okay? We got them right here, they're safe, okay? We want the women. Hey, I'll tell a story about the cop watchers, just hear me out. We have people who we can start getting on the buses. They're going to take a long time. Hey, women, people who are kind of concerned, get on there first. Start going home. Okay. Let me explain something about the cop watchers. We got Robert West here. We got, where's Chris Ponce? Hey, the, the, the cop watchers refuse to, to disavow us. They refuse to attack us. They used to march with Antifa all the time. But they started to go in between groups to just get neutral opinion, right? When they're with the Patriots, we're just cool with them. And they didn't like that. So they started attacking the cop watchers. They started going after them. They started assaulting them. And over time, we started to protect the cop watchers because they were attacking them the same way they're attacking us. Okay? So what we do is we bring people in. We build alliances. We don't build enemies like they do. Okay? You hear me? The cop watchers are not our enemies. Okay? They're here to simply record the police and to record Antifa and any criminal behavior. Okay? All right. So as we're waiting for the buses here, I'm going to open up the mic. I know, Patrick, you want to say something. Each you get two minutes. Here we go. Get up here. Let's go. Let's go. Me? All right. Two minutes. Two minutes. All right. Let's hear it for Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Who's the leader of Spider-Man? If anyone can, Spider-Man can. Hey, guys. I want that too. Can everybody hear me? Uh, so I wasn't planning on speaking today, but, you know, I'm here, so we'll do it. Uh, if any of you guys don't know me, uh, I'll do a very quick breakdown. So my name's Rio to me. Uh, a lot of people call me Big Spider-Man. Uh, I got involved in, I guess, this Patriot movement uh, a couple years ago when uh, I went to go see Milo in Berkeley. And when I went there, I really just went to go see Milo speak because as the media told me that he was a violent, you know, um, hate speech, uh, homophobic, transphobic, you know, Islamophobe. And it was, it was weird to me because I was like, wait, so you tell me the gay Jewish guy who can't talk, stop talking about his black boyfriend is espousing all this hate speech. It seems really weird to me. Uh, but yeah, but yeah. Uh, can you hear me now? Are you good? Okay. So I think it's important that I say that I was born in Greenville, Mississippi. Well, born in Lawton, Oklahoma, Oklahoma, but raised in Greenville, Mississippi. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Lived my entire life in democratically co uh, democratic uh, controlled cities. Uh, been around the imagery of the Confederacy. Went to schools named after Robert E. Lee. Uh, when I was four years old, the actual Ku Klux Klan marched down the street in my neighborhood in Greenville, Mississippi. And my aunt sat at the front door of our porch with her pistol at her side and me hanging on her leg. The home I grew up in sits on the, the property of the plantation that my great-great-grandfather worked on and his father worked on. So, you know, when people tell me that 
I know you're supporting white supremacy or you're, you're lining yourself up with racist. Believe me, I know what it's like to be under the foot of oppression, you know, and, and being in the home of my oppressors. So as I've been part of this movement, you know, what really bothered me is seeing the misinformation from the media. So with me and Joey experience last year was several news outlets said that Patriot Prayer was a neo-Nazi group, that we were white supremacists coming to San Francisco, that we were going to have hate speech and, and Confederate flags. None of that happened. Instead, we went to Berkeley, regular people who just happened to love their country or just support free speech, and we, all of us got the shit kicked out of us. You know, city leaders like Nancy Pelosi, Ed Lee, Barbara Lee, and I've seen the same thing here in Portland. So weeks leading up to this event, I saw the Southern Poverty Law Center say that this was going to be a repeat of Charlottesville. I saw the Washington Post that Joy Gibson was going to bring guns and neo-Nazis were coming to Portland to, to attack citizens and hurt people. I, has anybody seen any Nazi flags here? No! No Confederate Not flags? One. None of that shit. Instead, what I do see, I see white people, black people, Asian people, Hispanic people, I see gay people, I see trans people, all mingled amongst us. Yeah! This is a group of, of very, very diverse, who just have one common thing in mind, and it isn't necessarily Trump, and it isn't necessarily the Republican Party or the administration, we just support our, our freedoms, right. as given us by the Bill of Rights yeah. and by the Constitution, yeah. and we want to gather in a symbol. And while we might disagree on the nuance and the little things in here, we all want to listen to each other. Right. And for some reason, and I, and I hate that I'm going to say this, but it, it's going to have to come out, I don't understand why these white liberals across the street... Yeah. By the way, I align myself more with Malcolm X and Huey P than I do with anything else. And by the way, my family members were with Huey P. Newton the night he died. They, one of them left because they needed more guns because they were going to get some stuff that evening and when they separated, police came and killed Huey. Very pro Second Amendment. So when the Klan walked down the street on full horseback and regalia and hoods, it was my aunt with a pistol at her side defending me. Black people in this country have everything we have because we were able to defend ourselves. And the idea that anybody in any party wants to take guns away from us against the... And, and, Let's just go by their own logic. If that side over there says that white supremacy is coming to take over this country, that the police are coming to, you know, to, to, to hurt you and do all this stuff, wouldn't they want to defend themselves? If they say that us as me as a minority and other minorities are in danger from neo-Nazis and white supremacy, wouldn't you want me to have a gun to defend myself? So why would they fight, and get, fight for policies that are only going to leave me at risk? Unless they really don't give a shit about people like that. They don't care about black people. I just got into a conversation a moment ago with a dude uh, who had his hands up and he was shaking. But the only people who were talking to him were black folk. So I asked him, like, are you afraid of black people? He was like, no, then why are you shaking? He's like, you ain't got nothing to fear from us. Ain't nobody over here got anything to fear from anybody. We're back so to I'm glad everybody's out here. Uh, you know, it's this today turned out a lot better than I expected. But then again, you know, what I expected was what the mainstream media told us. That this was a neo-Nazi rally, that this was going to be white supremacy. And I find something in interesting. So, Southern Poverty Law Center, Washington Good Post, New York Times, all said there was going to be a horrible rally. That we were going to do violence in the streets and all that stuff. Anybody notice how the media is intermingled with us? Yeah. Mainstream media is intermingled with us. So if we're so dangerous, if we're the, if we're the party on the side that's going to commit violence against people, going to hurt people, why would they send their reporters and their cameramen to stand side by side with us? Unless, unless they don't believe what they write. Unless the very titles and articles that they put out telling you that everyone here is, is filled with hate speech and violence and they want to hurt the, the citizens of Portland, they don't really believe it. Because they still, because make journalism great again. Yes, I that's right. But that, that's just my theory. That's how it feels to me. Because if you really think that everyone over here is here to hurt you, then why would they put their reporters and have many harm to Because they don't believe it. Which really seems like, which means those articles are just clipping. And, and designed to deceive people, which is why there's so many hundreds of people over there who came to protest against us, and it's against, it's on a lie. It's on a lie. They got lied to today. And, you know, some of them really believe it, that everyone over here wants to hurt people, but you, you know that's not true. And I think in reality, I think they know that that's not true. So, you know, in the future, like, you know, when these things come out, you know, take a look, you know, I think everyone here is, is smart enough and wise enough to see between the bullshit. And I'm not necessarily saying like all the media's bullshit and stuff, but uh, they got it wrong this time. So.
Congrats. But thank you for guys for listening to me. Everybody be safe, Jake. R-Y-O-G-A-B-E-E, hit me up on Twitter. I'm good. 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 i am good Alrighty. First of all, I want to say thank you to every single red-blooded American that came out here to take a stand for freedom. I know you guys travel like a thousand miles to get here, and you guys have my respect. I love you all. Today, today is a big win for America. Today, we have proven to Poland that no matter what kind of threats that they send our way, it ain't gonna stop us. It ain't gonna make us bend the knee. The only time we bend the knee is in front of the cross. But we take a stand for our country! And we already told Poland that hey, even if your cops wanna stand down and not do their job of protecting and serve, we're still gonna come. Even if any of our people get injured really bad, we're still gonna come. Yep. Why? Because we are nothing without freedom. We gotta stand up for our God-given rights. For our God-given rights, and we ain't backing up. And I said this in the beginning before everybody got here, and I'm gonna say it again. I'm gonna say this again. The same time of evil Antifa that makes cowards run, makes champions like you and me stand. That's right! So now, I know we didn't get into that brawl. We would have handed them their ass. But the cops did their job. And I'm proud of them. I'm proud of them. Because if they didn't do their job, that would have been a big mistake. We're not here to brawl, but we can still defend ourselves. If I have to go down swinging to stand up for this country, I will do it. And I know damn well every one of you that flew in today would do the same. Because we love this country. We elected Trump to make America great again. And we're going to be the ones that's going to keep it great. And that's by standing and never back out or bend a knee. So God bless everybody that came out. God bless my proud boys, the highwaymen, and all the red-blooded Americans. Ooh. 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 And make some, one more noise for freedom. Yeah. Hey, first of all, guys, you gotta stop leaving on your own. Okay, stop leaving on your own. Yeah. If you leave on your own, you're gonna get jumps because you know that's how they work, okay? They yeah. pick people off, okay? Make that phone call, let me know what's going on. All right, okay. next up, we got, um, we got another one of our grandmas that show up to every single rally, okay? The, these grandmas are the reason why we do what we do. Because they they have the courage, they have the strength to come out and march with us when a lot of men in this country are too afraid. This is what motivates us and this is what drives us. So let's hear it for Catherine Townsend. We love you, Catherine. Thank you. It's so awesome to meet so many of you that I've just met online before. This is so encouraging. This is so encouraging. And I want to thank every one of you. And I want to repeat for those who don't know, because I've been asked by several reporters, why are you here? What are you doing? You know, blah, blah, blah. All the same old, same old. And, and it's, it's really this. On March 4th, 2017, I went to a rally. A simple rally, a small rally in Olympia, Washington. And a gold star mom was speaking. And as she stood there and as she began to share about the pain of losing her son in Afghanistan, a group of Antifa came up and tried to stop the rally. And they tried to shut her down. And as I was standing there, as I was sitting in the, in the audience, everything in me wanted to get between her and that group of people and protect her. And so what I come to and why I come to the rallies is I stand for that gold star mom's right to 
be in America without threat of violence. Everyone has their own thing. Everyone has their own deal of why you're here and what you're doing, but that's mine. My dad was a World War II POW that, that stood against real Nazism. And so I'm here, I'm standing, and I want to thank every one of you for doing the same. I so appreciate you. Thank you so much. And real quick, don't worry about the doxing because it's a bunch of, you know, CRAP. And so, because they do, they do know our addresses, they know our phone numbers, they know everything, and they call and they threaten, and they're just like so stupid. I feel like I'm in high school. I, they're like, don't dweeze. I mean, it's like ridiculous. And you know what? We're not afraid of them. We're not afraid of the doxing. We're not afraid of what they can do. And so, just keep on standing, and thank you again for being here. Thank you, Joey. Go, go Joey Gibson! Hey, yeah, don't forget uh, to hand your ballots. Like also, if you go to GibsonForFreedom.com, you want to help donate to the campaign, it's much appreciated. But at the end of the day, it hasn't taken that much money. Uh, next up, we have a black man who's called a white supremacist by Nancy Pelosi. That's the type of country we're in these days. Okay, He's got a huge platform, uh, hardcore Christian, not afraid to declare it. A really good man, been to almost every single rally up and down, did a lot for the movement, was here for Will Johnson. How many of you love America? How many of you love Donald J. Trump? Yeah, Trump 2020. We are going to keep America great. Hey, I want all y'all to know you may not know this. I am not a Russian robot. I create means to support my president, to support our country. I love this country. I came here today not knowing what to expect. Look at all of these wonderful, awesome, beautiful Americans. Give it up for yourself. Now, you know what? I'm really interested on what the media is going to say about all of this. They're probably tomorrow morning, tomorrow morning, I guarantee it. The news that's going to come out about this rally today is going to be slim to nothing on the left. Because the police department did their jobs. So we have to give it up to the police department for doing their jobs. Now, every time, yes, every time the liberals have a rally, we never show up and throw bombs. We never show up and throw bottles with urine and feces in it. We never show up to try to throw rocks at them and hit them with sticks. We never do that. I like to show up at them, but we don't throw rocks at them. Okay? But every time we have a rally as conservatives, as Christians, as people who love this country, they show up to want to try to harm us. But I'm here to tell you that I'm going to stand with each and one, every one of you did I say that? <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so happy to be here with you. I will stand with you to the very end. Because it's people like you that make me keep going. It's people like you that show that you love this nation. And for everyone that couldn't make it, we are here for them. And we're going to continue doing it. God bless our president. God bless you. And God bless America. What's up guys? Hey, my name is Marco. I am a grateful citizen of the United States of America. And Donald Trump is my president! Can you guys say 2020? 2020! That's 2020! So Hispanics are up on the polls. And I want to thank you 
if you see somebody that speaks Spanish out there, be nice to them. Uh, tell them that Donald Trump loves them. Because he does. He does. You know, uh, Hispanics are merchants. They, they, they understand the language of Donald Trump. And uh, we understand that if there's food on the table, everything's cool. All right? Thank you, guys. I love you. Uh, Joey. Thank you, man. Thank you for everything you do. Right. One of the best things that, that for this campaign that's been unbelievable is the, the amount of money that I have not had to spend, okay? I haven't had to spend anything, okay? And one of the things that I learned from Trump is he knows how to troll the left, okay? He knows how to troll the, the media. As you guys know, I lately made a live video that apparently my son was in the background holding uh, an assault rifle is what they said, okay? Did you guys see that video? So, so anyways, basically it's a toy gun, right? And so we put it back there and then... This, this far left wing uh, place made a video about it, about how much of an extremist I am, and it, now it's up to like 350,000 views. I didn't have to pay a penny. Didn't have to pay a penny. And it's actually, I've had some people watch the video, if you're not a far left person, and you just kind of love guns and you love America, they're like, damn, this guy's really cool. <laughs> but it was a great campaign video. I'm gonna download it and upload my own thing, and I don't know, I may give him a couple bucks for helping me out with that. So, anyways, we got a bus right here. Anybody want to go, go. Get on there now. It's going to take time to get off. Anybody else want to say something? Can I say something? This guy came out here to figure out what the hell all this is about. He hears a lot of talk on both sides of the aisle, so he wants to see it firsthand. So let's hear what he has to say. So I just wanted to say uh, thank you for the love and respect and appreciation I was showed as I walked around to you guys. Um, Politically wise, I didn't get enough information and stuff like that to make uh, judgments and stuff, assumptions like that. But I just want to say that I was showed respect and love on this side. Um, I was showed love and respect on the other side as well. Um, and I feel like it was a great day. So I don't know what the large media outlets are going to say and stuff like that. But I spread the word to the people and followers that I have that you guys show love if you come respectful and, and show love to you guys. I feel like there's too much shit talking going on. So I would love to be at the next one, you know, to get really more about what you guys are really about and what um, Gibson for Senate will really be doing and stuff like that. So thank you. Hey, see any racist people here today? Hey, women, women, children out of the league, don't get the hell on the bus, okay? So we don't have to worry about you anymore, okay? Get out of here, go get on the bus. Come on, let's go, we need to get on the bus. We need people on the bus. All I wanted to say, guys, is we need to show up at the next one. I didn't even know about the first one, otherwise I would have been there. But uh, I'll, if I have to, I'll have to hang up flyers, but somebody come up with a date because I'm not the organizer. But I will support whoever decides that they want to do another rally. I'll print flyers, I'll tell people I'll go to church and drop them off. But let's try to make this the threat, the minimum of our threshold. We need at least this many people. Because look at how many people they got. They got about, it's like 50-50. Well, come on, let's, let's show them, let's show them how many people are free thinkers who have an open mind and know the truth. Okay? Thank you. Please show up in the next one. Yeah. All right, guys, what's going on? <laughs> so I came here from Utah. See what it's like. I fucking love you all. Yeah. You guys got huevos. I love it. So I just wanted to read a quote real quick from Patrick Henry. Is life so dear or peace so sweet as to be purchased at the price of chains and slavery? Forbid it, almighty God. I know not what course others, others may take. But as for me, give me liberty or give me death. Yeah. Yeah. All right, hey, that concludes it. So let's start getting people on the bus. Be patient, stay here. You'll be safe while you're here. Take your time, mingle, go get wet, go do whatever you guys want to do. I'll stick around till everyone's gone. Hey guys, thank you very much for having an amazing rally today. Thank you.
on, dudes, really. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Why are you 
Go get the cops to fucking laugh. Thank you. 
Uh, actually, I'm not actually. So, yeah. my, 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 my pay stopped hours ago. So, yeah, I'm just here because I am. So, I'm happy. Do you, if you want to make a report, I'm happy to have a conversation. If you want to do it someplace else, I'm happy to do that as well. I'll make that decision later. Okay. And we can. If you don't want to do it now, we'll take a report later and we can make an arrest later. I mean, you saw, I don't know if you saw, but the last protest, we made several arrests from the previous thing. So, if you want to think about it, you can call in. I don't, I don't need your stuff. Okay, just call in. All right. We'll take the report. You need permits for that to be legal. Yeah. 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 Have a great day. Right. Go the cops. The cops. Come on, brother. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Which way, Dad? You fucking the you little faggot. The one that you yeah. close to? Yeah. yeah. What you do? The N-word and the Man, this guy's using the N-word no. and the faggot word now. You, you said both. What, you gonna do? what are you, Asian? What are you? Hey, you're no, using the N-word and you called this guy Asian? a faggot? I'm what are you? Asian? What are you doing? Dude, you called a guy an N-word. You called this guy back your N-word. And now you're calling a guy a faggot, right? Keep going for your Have you seen any of us? You're racist. No. Racist. No. I've seen you. Are you racist? Keep your ears open, Let's listen go. to what they say. Yeah, hey, you are going to get the fuck out of here. Get 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 out of here.
Violence! Oh, you guys want to follow us? We're going to Take it off, bitch! Let him do it! 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 Especially the boy behind you, the guy in the back. Hey, your posture's right. I see you're in your We are terribly split up right now. We need to fucking get back together. Yeah, we're in our town. Get the fuck out, Bill Billy. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. Ooh. Get the fuck out. 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 Where are you from? Where are you from? I don't want your fucking ambulance. Why don't 
No, you know what I get? You know what I get? I don't get a slap. I get you. How old are you, brother? If you don't mind me asking. How old are you? I'm 17. Let's go measure 11, man. No, I don't know. It's measure 11. Throwing it out there. Measure 11. I mean, hashtag free white 21. Portland, Oregon, hashtag Nazi PDX. But for me, brother, it's a measure 11. Oh, yeah. If I don't like what you have to say, and I come back to the I'm going to believe you.
Attracted to Joey Gibson's platform. 
on my Facebook Live. I'm asking you why so many Nazis are attracted to your platform. Can you give them examples or not? I'm giving you the examples that are on your Facebook platform. I don't have. You want to literally show you every How about one then? Just give me one. I'll do it. I'll do it since I'm here. I have the time, and this is more fun than Twitter. So you tell me why they're trying. Tell, tell us why they're Tell us why they're trying. Tell us why they're trying. Is it because of time? Look it up. Are they trying to detain you? For anyone to provide any any example of me giving hate speech. Has anyone given you an example so far? What's that? No. Not even. No. No. Is that? You mean Doug? You mean Satan? You mean Satan over there? You mean Satan? I see Satan. Where's Jake Van Is he here now? He shows up on your side. So loud. Hello. So what is this poster? What's up? I, I'm not. I'm not gonna be. Interviewed. What's What's on the poster? This is the quote. Uh, Do you want to read the quote to your followers? To you. This is the Joey right Gibson now. quote of who organized this event. Quote: After we finish up our speeches, we're gonna go on an exciting march along the waterfront, and I'm sure Auntie Fi will join us because they're so obsessed with us. They love us so much. They love Nazis. Why is Joey Gibson saying Auntie Fi will follow him if they love Nazis? This is literally his words. That's a joke. Not. Oh, it's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. It's Show us a Nazi. Show us a Nazi. I showed you Joey Gibson's words, and you're denying so them. No Nazis. So Joey Gibson's Joey words. Gibson. You can just say you. Joey, Joey Gibson's <laughs> words don't mean so anything to you. I'm, so I'm telling you what the words are. So I'm the joke. Right are the words not there? That's what I said as a joke because they call it's a joke. Nazis. It's a joke. So there are no Nazis. It's a joke. There's no Nazis. So you. So I'm the Nazi. So you don't support Nazi ideology. No examples. And you. Admit it. And you. I'm showing you your own quote, and now you're saying it's a joke. No, you said And that's fine. And that's fine. Nazis can be non-white. This conversation's boring. Nazis can be non-white. You should look up smug. Nazis have an ideology. They can be non-white. They're self-loathing Jews. They're self-loathing Hispanics. Let the record know and everything else. So it's interesting that he's denying that Nazis are attracted to his ideology, while at the same time you accrete these groups, you support these groups, you have Facebook Live videos asking for violent tactics from these groups, and then he denies that when it's face to face. He's denying it. He's denying it. Do you do you talk to text them at night? No. Is there any all right people here? No. What would you do? Give me an example. What would you do if the all right came right now? I would say I disavow you, but you have just much right to be out here. Why do you disavow the all right? Anybody has a right to be out here. Tell me why you disavow the all right. I disavow anybody who has hate as their platform, just like you guys. So you do not have hate as your platform? You don't have hate in your platform. Show me. Okay, I can tell you. I, we have a $2,000 bounty. Find any hate speech that I've given. You get two grand. Okay. Is that in Oregon or Washington? Anywhere? I've been all over the country. Okay, I mean, you're running in Washington yeah. State, but you're in Oregon right now. I've been all over the country. Well, right, you've been all over the country to incite violence. Wait, hold on. So, so, do you believe I have hate speech? Do I believe what? Do you believe I hate part of my platform? Part of the people who espouse your views and are on active on your Facebook page an and on your Twitter page, Give us an example. they espouse violent acts. And I know I've so never you seen you. So do these guys? I'm not here to speak for them. I'm not here to okay, speak for them. Speak that too. Not I'm speaking out against all violence. Okay, and good. I wonder why, when your supporters espouse violence, why you don't shut that down immediately? I feel like you organized this so that certain people who favor violent so, so tactics I, were at the tip of the spear and they wanted violence so from think, Antifa. You don't think I, I they wanted? Violence? You don't think I could have marched around and got to a point where we can be violent? You don't think I did everything I can to avoid violence? Uh, I did see you avoid violence earlier. I did everything I can. I, I did see you avoid violence. But your supporters have you seen me taking beatings. You see people spitting in my face, and I don't punch back. Spitting you don't know is a violent thing act. About where my heart is. Spitting is a violent act. Violence. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know why so many of your I've been supporters. Punched, I've been choked out. I've been, I don't know why so many of your supporters espouse Nazi ideology. I don't know why there's so much overlap between you and your supporters. You're bouncing around from okay. that want violence. So. Unless we see them really supporting Nazis, we shouldn't. We all got to coexist. You feel me? They do not I'm not like calling Nazis. him a Nazi. I'm asking why so many Nazis are co-opted yeah, into him. Can you speak? Can I not I'm, talk? I'm letting him talk. I know you're talking. Yo, like, unless we see them saying fuck black people, I'm black. I, I'm saying some real shit. I've been through racism. I know what it's like. These people are, from my, what I see, I don't see racism in their eyes. He said he don't like violence. I can tell when someone's genuine. He's not full of shit. 
If they was here for Nazis, wouldn't you think they would be having Nazi swastika tattoos or saying get the fuck out, fuck niggers, all that shit? They're not uh, talking I'm about that. I'm pretty sure Tiny uses They're the not word talking about the time. that. Well, I don't know who Tiny is. Tiny is so white. Well, do a little bit more research into Joey Gibson. We're so white, your platform, he espouses. What right now is that we need to coexist because at the end of the day, we're all human beings. We're coexisting we're right here. Beings. Good. But Joey Gibson came here with supporters who armed themselves, as is their constitutional right, yeah. and we're here waiting for violence. And I'm not so with Joey, that. Joey, why, why were, why were I'm not you with should arm yourself? Why, why, why were some of you guys, right. are you guys in those protective gear? Everyone should have constitutional right. Why were you Joey Gibson doesn't have an organ carry, so he's not here. We get attacked all the time. Why are you telling people to arm themselves if the Holy Spirit arms us and fights us? I didn't tell people to arm themselves. I said they can't, they want. If I don't fight my own battles, if I don't fight my own battles and the Messiah avenges me, why are you telling people to arm themselves? No. Yes, he did. And then after he chopped his ear, he said that's enough. He healed it. I personally don't carry weapons. I personally don't carry weapons. Bring weapons to your rallies. Were there weapons on the other side? I didn't see any, but I I did not see them. But there were a whole bunch of kids scared and told to stay away from here. Tifa throws bombs in our crowd. You say you say you get mad when Tifa throws weapons in our crowd and bombs. I'm arrogant. I agree. Because I I sourced the Bible. Unholy I'm arrogant because I source the Bible. This guy walks around and judges everyone and says everyone's a devil. He judges everybody. Who are you? Who are you? It is disgusting. Who are you? I'm not judging all the people. Who are you? I'm saying the culture. Who are you? Who are you and what spirits inside of you that form this? Who are you and what spirit inside you form this? Because you're sitting here throwing demonic <laughs> Come on. No, you acting like you're some preacher man. Because I am. Because I am. Right. That's why. That's why we have. That's why we have different spirits. Because we're on different teams. You understand that? I'm exposing the kingdom. You work for your father, the devil. We're not on the same team, bro. No, we're not. I, I know we're not. I know we're not. Because you throw up. The, you throw up the devil horns and you tell people to arm themselves. I tell people to arm themselves with the Holy Bible. Read the red words in there, and that's all you need to this life. That's it. Period. So what are you doing here? You're filled with the antichrist spirit, being a little devil, like you are, because you sold out. No, you're a little devil. Everybody. No, you're a little devil and you sold everybody. out. You're a little you're devil and you sold out. Everybody. You're a little devil and you sold out. And All we're right. going to see this guy rise to fame and watch it because he sold out. Watch it because he sold out. The kingdom of heaven is near. This is not a joke. You have a good night. Damn. Damn. And left and left and left. Yeah, can you guys leave now? Or are you going to stay around for a while? You staying here tonight? Wait, you got a bed for me? <laughs> I mean, if you would open up a peaceful dialogue with me, Joey, I would talk to you. We're having it right now. But the idea that you're rejecting... You talk too much, and you're kind of aggressive. And okay, I guess I'm aggressive. You won't answer questions. You say you have these examples, and you have none. I've, I've read your own words, and you said you're you joking. No examples. I'll, I'll take you at your word that you're joking. I'll take your word that you're joking. But I'm still curious. I met some here today. There were also a lot of libertarians. A lot of libertarians here. But I'm asking why so many Nazis are attracted to your ideology. And you say there are none. I, I, and then earlier you said that you blocked them from your platform all the time. Oh so if Nazis try, I don't block them. I call them out. If, if a guy's a Nazi, that happened on 82nd. That was like three guys. Okay, but why are your views lining up so well with? Yeah, why are they attracted to you? Why, why aren't they, not. they showing up there? Why aren't they showing up? They are showing up. That was 82nd. That was over a year and a half ago. Three guys show up. Why would it be? Because they have let them march with you. Everyone says. Have you denounced them publicly? A million. I would ask you seriously, not violently. I would actually peacefully block them. Not kind of white supremacists. Screw all of them. Well, then I, I, I don't want. I don't want communists. I don't want Nazis. I want a free country. That's it. That's it. That's it. I'm not. Oh, sorry. What's that? We can prevent someone from going. What's that? I spoke to someone in your group earlier that says they block Nazis every day from your Facebook page. I don't know why Nazis are getting blocked from your Facebook page every right. day. Uh, can There's we do it together? Reason, are you guys going to show up There's and try to There's a reason that Nazis are reason. getting blocked from your you, platform you every day. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what they are. Too many are you guys guys no, I'm asking why, asking why so many Nazis are attracted. Could it be what? because of a comment? Are you guys going to show up and try to beat me I'm up? I don't know anybody down here. We're not here for violence. We're not here for violence. The group of opposition, you know who is, right? Um, we've seen I've the violence, right? Ten different pages you know how happens. Rallies. When we try to march, and Antifa shows up and they start attacking us. Damn it. You know that, right? I haven't seen any of you guys. That in itself 
head to head and start yelling at each other. That would be the gravity. I don't know that they're coming at me. I've seen people get into fights. I've seen people get into each other's faces. It's not okay. Violence is not necessary. Nobody wants it here. Okay, so you disavow Antifa. So you disavow Antifa and their tactics, your violent tactics. I disavow violent tactics. Yeah. And I I saw disavow Antifa. I don't know how to disembowel a non-hierarchical group with yeah. no leader. No. So what is Antifa? What, who are they? It's a philosophy. They're, they're so there's just, if you wear black, you're violence? Antifa? They still show up, they're people. Yeah. I disavow yeah. all violence. Yeah. All violence. So, so disavow Antifa, Antifa. that's you. Yeah. I disavow no, violent tactics. Disavow Antifa. Antifa. If I say I disavow racist, that means, that automatically means I disavow white supremacists too. So It does. Yeah. But I don't know why so many white supremacists are attracted to your platform. There are none. What, is your, what are your views on healthcare? Is that why they're here? What are your views on, on universal income? Why are your supporters here today? Here, so what are your views on healthcare, education, public transportation? Why are, you, why are your supporters here? Education needs to be local. What are your supporters not, not here for? For your healthcare policy? No. What is your healthcare policy? The fact that we need to lower the cost of healthcare by getting government out of the way, especially so, the FDA. Okay, so how do we lower the cost of healthcare? Is that why your supporters are here? Because they want to hear them. your healthcare views? Do you think healthcare is right? I don't. Uh, I, my healthcare views are indifferent right now. I'm asking Joey Gibson why you know, his supporters right are here. No, I will, well, They're not here for his healthcare views. Because They're here because he's aligning himself with white supremacy and, why and some people that are not. I'm asking you why they're here, and this is why they show up. Because of the white are they here for your healthcare policy? So they're here be, they're here for are they here supremacy. for your healthcare policy? They're here because they know what I stand for. I'm against. They, I want a what are you government. against? I want a limited government. I want more freedom. And I stand for God in a country where God's not very well respected anymore. You do know there's a separate of church and state. There's no religious test for the government So why do you want you, God with government? The government should never force you to, to worship anybody at any okay. time. But I can openly express what I believe in. Sure. Yeah, there you go. So, but I'm asking why your so supporters are here. It's not your healthcare policy. It's not your education just, policy. You just answered yeah. you, dude. Yeah. That, that's not why they're here. How many of your supporters know your healthcare policy? They don't know that. They know your Facebook live streams. Can you they know your info said? wars. Can you they know your info war streams. Uh, they know your uh, Nazi memes that get spread amongst your Facebook and Twitter following, so and they know, and they know the people that are attracted to come visit out of state to confront Antifa. Those are your supporters. They're not here for education, healthcare, jobs, none of that, Joey. They're here because you aligned yourself with white supremacy, and the fact that you haven't seen that. Here. Well, everyone I've spoken to, they haven't talked about your healthcare. Can you pick, pick someone out of the crowd and ask them what their healthcare policy is? There, there's no one here. So your supporters are no longer here. Did you not hear what I said? Did you not hear what I said? I, I heard most. He did. Tell me. No, you repeat it back to me. I don't want to miss. So you didn't even listen to anything. I did. I you said the government should stay out of healthcare. Uh, FDA should be uh, no. not abolished. I'm saying, why, minimized. I'm, saying the, I'm saying the fundamental reason why they they came out here today. Why they like oh, to, support to support freedom. To support freedom. Yeah, to get freedom. Freedom. Limited government. Freedom. Bring God. Limited government. Freedom. I know. You, but you think you think. That's a joke, but it's not. It's a people. joke because of what you're doing. You say you want limited government, and you force my city to pay uh, overtime I for police. I did. Oh, you did it. No, if people you weren't violent, violent, if people weren't violent, then they won't. The only violence I saw was on your side today. You want me to show you the videos yeah, of fist fights? So. You want me to show you the videos of fist fights? Uh, see the Everybody's seen those show. videos. You, you want to show you the video? I've seen We're them. Stuck down here. So then, videos. were you violent or not violent? I wasn't there. You weren't there. Okay. Mm -hmm. People that represented themselves as part of your group were violent today. Do you accept that? Today? Yes. Do you accept that? No. You don't accept it. Okay. So even with my video, you don't care. Let me see the video. Okay, I'll show you the video. Um. That guy in the you blue cap, he's been punching kill. people. We and we're trying to push him out. No one's punching him, kill. but he was punching other people. There he is again. Aggressor. Filming. We're asking for police help. No one is punching him, but he's punched other people.
supposed to be on that bus right now? Do we get me home and something to eat? Maybe. Hopefully not though. We're not gonna ride on the bill. How many people with a pepper bottle juice? Our streets, 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 our streets